Another review for you, as you can see, Guerlain Angelique Noir. This one came out to us in 2005. The perfumer is Daniela Andrier, and what a what a great great perfume this one is. Uh, let's get into the notes. Top notes are going to be angelica, pear, and pink pepper. And then for the middle, you're going to have jasmine and caraway. And for the base, you'll have vanilla, angelica, and cedar. So not a lot going on, but this one is. It does do some, some things. It, um, you can smell some things off the top and then it kind of gets into uh, some other, you know, just, just great notes and it does change along the way, which is nice. It's kind of like a journey that you're taking with a fragrance. You know, some are very linear and that's fine, but this one does kind of change with time as you're wearing it. So uh, getting out with the, the opening, you have this, it's kind of like a, it's just very green. Uh, it's got this like pear note in there, so you get a little bit of fruitiness out of it, but it's just so green, and, and I think the jasmine has a lot to do that with, with that as well. I know that's not a, a top note, but you do get that. It's, it's not really floral, but it's, it, you have some of that fresh cut green herbal kind of thing going in there, and it's just, guys, the opening is really, really good. Now again, if you don't want anything to do with any sort of word that says feminine, <laughs> uh, don't you know, stay away, because this one is a little bit feminine, but the dry down is where it's at, and that's what I really love about this fragrance. It turns into something really special. So, uh, the middle of it, like I said, you're gonna get, obviously, the, the Angelica, uh, and that, what that is, it's it's like more of like a sweet uh, greenness to it, and, and it's kind of like that sugariness to it, and it smells really, really good. And then the, you get the vanilla towards that dry down. Uh, not too much woodiness going on. There, you, you can get the little hints of that cedar out of it, but more of that angelica, uh, you know, and, and you still have some of that, not really fruitiness, but the pear you can kind of catch in there as well towards that dry down. And guys, this one is just, it really, really, it's a perfect blended fragrance, you know, and it projects so well. A good couple hours of projection. Longevity is excellent. Uh, with it as well. Uh, it gets close to the skin after that eight, nine hour mark, but you can still smell it. I really, really enjoy this one a lot. Like I said, it's it does lean a little bit feminine, but towards the dry down, it does get more of like a 50-50, uh, you know, for for uh, unisex. You know, definitely a man can pull this one off. And, and me, I've been kind of, you know, kind of experimenting and enjoying a little bit more feminine sense, uh, you know, darker sense during warm days. And I'm really experimenting and having fun with a lot of this stuff because uh, you know, even though it kind of comes off a little bit feminine, it really smells good, uh, you know, to someone if they walk past you or something like that and they catch a whiff, because I do get compliments with this one as well. So even from women, so it's, uh, it works well. But a, a, a gentleman, if you are, you know, if you shy away from those, those like sweeter uh, kind of green floral notes and things like that, you know, stay away. But this would be great for your significant other, by your wife or your girlfriend as well. So, but excellent. Uh, let's get into the presentation real quick. Their boxes are basically, a lot of the collections have the same same type of box. And uh, like my Habit Rouge and, and things like that are all the same. But this is from the art collection, of course. I think there's nine fragrances all together. Uh, but there's your batch numbers and the ingredients and a little bit of information. I like how they put that there. This one is from actually 2014. So the box, I believe the presentation is a little bit different now. And definitely the bottle, I believe, is different. They always gave you the option of having this sprayer here with that little, um, that bulb for the sprayer for the perfume, which I think it's really classy for like a woman to use that, but they do put the men, I always call it the men's sprayer, but uh, th this one, which I'll show you on there, but very nice place to set your bottle, of course. And they do give you a cap, of course, that actually, uh, when you pull the sprayer off, if you wanted to twist the sprayer off, they actually give you this little cap that you can turn on so it will keep the, the juice from evaporating or you know anything like that because if you guys are scared of this evaporating, which I've had this three years now and I haven't really seen much of it go anywhere so uh, for evaporation or anything. You can do, you can put stuff on the, on the you know, on the, the cap screw and things like that but I'm not too worried about it but they actually very detailed too. I don't know if you can see that there, but the Guerlain symbol. And uh, again, that's the screwy cap, which you can kind of put on there, but it doesn't stay. Uh, sprayer, really nice spray, but it's more of a wide spray. See how it's kind of, but it's a really nice mist. And oh my gosh, there that is, that, that smooth, creamy, bright, like pear opening. 
Got a little spice, a little herbal in there, but wow, guys, this is, um, it's a great, great fragrance. And again, like I said, if, you know, lean's a little floral. I'm not, I'm not floral, but a little feminine. I'm not gonna lie to you on that, but I just, it turns out to be something really special. And there is your Angelique Noir, um, the gold plate that they put on there. And guys, just a wonderful, wonderful presentation. I do have a nice decant of this as well. So I just, uh, same from the same year and everything. So I just really, really enjoy it. Uh, it's not a fragrance I wear all the time, but man, when I do, it just, it gives me a couple compliments and it's just really a, a really nice fragrance. You know, like I said, with that dry down, it gets uh, sweeter from the vanilla, from that sugary note uh, from the Angelica. And, and it's just a, just a really well-rounded, uh, great, great fragrance, guys. Uh, you know, all age groups, all occasions. I think, you know, not necessarily for a man for this to be a, a signature scent, but I think a woman really could use this as a signature scent. Just, just beautiful stuff, guys. So again, thank you so much for the support. I can't thank you enough uh, for that. It's, it's nice to see, you know, again, I'm not, you know, it's nice to see subscribers, but I'm not obsessed with trying to get as many subscribers. I just like the, the comments below, uh, you know, with the people that, that really know their stuff that aren't reviewers or, or really not too flashy, but they know a lot about fragrances. And I like to, to hear their, you know, advice and comments at the, you know, below to kind of teach me some things and, you know, um, let me know if I haven't tried something or, you know, if I do like this, try this or, you know, it's just, it's great to, to see that and to learn because there's so many, not only so many fragrances that have already been released, but just the ones coming out and there's just so much always going on and revolving in this community that we have. And, and I just really, really, I really love it. You know, this, this passion is, you know, I, I didn't know how I would, I got into it really, really heavy in 13 and I didn't know how it would turn out. Maybe I was just gonna, you know, sell some stuff off in, in 14 or 15 and just be kind of done with it. But man, it's just a, a great, great passion and I love it, you know, and, and we're smelling great along the way. So, you know, it's a win-win. A so guys, thanks so much again, Rise Frakes 34. I can't thank you enough. Talk to you soon.